welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel. This is a small company with huge potential, uh, re-rated its value by uh, an independent firm who puts the market cap at uh, just over 60 million. Very exciting uh, current market valuation and where this stock market uh, puts current valuations of certain companies out there where the opportunity just does not relate um, with the with the opportunity in what they are trying to do. Uh, Charbonne's a green hydrogen play, first mover in the space, and is knocking on the door to uh, putting their flagship uh, facility in Sorrel Tracy on the line. Just released a press release this week. I want to cover the press release in detail. Uh, and with that, we're going to kick in and uh, cover it and um, and see what they've got to say. Here's the press release on Charbonne Hydrogen as a company that we chronicle on the independent investor, one of few. Uh, wanted to bring this to your attention. I will provide a link in the description below for anybody who wants to review this um, at, on their, at their own leisure. I recommend reading it a couple of times so you get the gist of the valuation that's being um, uh, assessed for Charbonne Hydrogen and, and really speaks to the reason why we're pushing this out through uh, social media the way that we are bringing uh, investors uh, to uh, the independent research firm uh, sees them at about 60 with the opportunity that we've chronicled uh, on the channel and what I have uh, introduced to my audience uh, just as of late. And if you haven't caught that introduction to Chevron Hydrogen, uh, I will link uh, in the description to that and some other really critical content related to the uh, news release from just this week here on Charbonne Hydrogen. Uh, but it is a publicly traded company. It's a pure play green hydrogen. It is a first mover in the space. Uh, companies receive $60 million in valuation. Charbonne's focused on delivering a near-term network of modular, that's huge, green hydrogen projection facilities across North America. The company has established a decentralized, that's also huge, opportunistic approach to green hydrogen production using a grid-connected renewable energy source sources to produce green hydrogen, uh, dihydrogen molecules by eco-friendly energy solutions for industrial, institutional, commercial, and future mobility users. So having just reaffirmed uh, their priority launch, uh, plans to scale and deliver green hydrogen production facilities in both U.S. and Canada during the second half of 2024, um, which is looming right around the corner. Charbonne engaged the valuation advisory firm to determine the company's current fair market value. Goes on to read that they use different valuation metrics, comparative analysis, et cetera, et cetera. You can go in there and check those um, analysis themselves. Um, you can put as much stock in that as you will. This is along the bullish theme that myself and other social media personalities are pushing through to make sure that you understand an identified disconnect between what the current valuation calls for in the company and, and where professionals like this institution sees them um, actually um, realizing when they do actually re-rate and they're able to bring um, their flagship Sorrel Tracy property on the line here. Located near Montreal, Quebec, its Sorrel Tracy Green Hydrogen Project will serve as the company's flagship facility giving Charbonne a first mover advantage with production starting later this year. So fantastic. Um, something to really sink our teeth into, something to really cover um, as, as they progress and uh, announce these uh, progressions in this plan. Um, Charbonne plans to build and deliver 16 green hydrogen production facilities across North America by 2030. Um, that was in the initial roadmap uh, in the video that I uh, released introducing Charbonne Hydrogen to the grander independent investor audience. So fairly busy here. Um, guys, I, I will quote uh, the CEO, Mr. Dave Gagnon here. This valuation showcased the remarkable growth potential of Charbonne's current business and project interest in the Montreal and Detroit energy. That's, that's fantastic. Um, uh, Detroit areas, as well as our ability to forge strong business and financial partnerships. We've worked hard to create lasting relationships with government and industry partners to secure our current plant optimization plans in 2024. We feel incredibly confident in our long-term vision and prospects for investor success. Fantastic. 
the next talks about the um, really the, the the political environment here and the support uh, of both Canadian and U.S. policymakers to help support the um, uh, green hydrogen initiative. Um, it's the CHITC Clean Hydrogen Investment Tax Credit, which could mean up to a forty percent tax credit. Um, to uh, companies like Charbonne. We kind of know this, but it is a, a bullish tailwind for sure for the company to understand that there will be incentive and support to help augment the high upfront investment cost to get facilities like this and others on the line. But uh, the first one being the most difficult, that being the Sorrel Tracy. Sorrel Tracy Green Hydrogen product will serve as the company's flagship facilities, giving Charbonne a first mover advantage with production starting in the second half of 2024, following a phased approach and gradually accelerating to produce uh, approximately 200 kilograms per day. That has to do with the electrolyzer that they will start with during phase 1A and phase uh, 1B. Uh, and eventually rolling into the actual phase one uh, of Sorrel Tracy uh, with the higher capacity and, and the higher equipment that can yield more green hydrogen on the back end. It replaces gray hydrogen with clean, reliable, renewable alternative hydrogen produced from fossil fuels. So that is the press release, guys. Uh, Want to bring your attention to it. Again, I'll link it in the de description for you. Kick over. Uh, I skipped a few parts here. You're going to want to read it in entirety and get an idea of the valuation metrics used uh, by the independent research uh, firm uh, to award this valuation of over $60 million to Charbonne as we speak now. So it'll be fun to track the progress going forward. We'll kick you back. We'll conclude the video. And we've come out of the press release for Charbonne Hydrogen. Um, time frame short here, guys. Um, they're talking about bringing this on the line here, latter half 2024. They have a roadmap to establish multiple facilities, uh, both in Canada uh, and here in the United States. Very exciting time. Uh, the first one's going to be the toughest one. If they can get this thing off the ground in the capacity that they've disclosed, um, by phasing into this process and providing green hydrogen in the capacity that they've uh, disclosed that they can, um, I think the opportunity and the upside here is 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 huge. Um, you know, the time we want to be talking about this stuff is before um, the blue ocean of addressable market here in green hydrogen is actually defined. And Charbonne being a first mover uh, in the space absolutely has got my attention. And I'm, I'm glad to provide these updates for you. Um, we will try to be cutting edge for you, provide these updates as they're made available to me. Um, that'll save you a little bit from having to find the independent research on your own. Just subscribe to the channel, um, be part of the community, be, be part of the movement that we're trying to make here and bring great undiscovered companies that have obvious disconnects in value and current assessed market caps um, and current assessed intrinsic value to the company to would-be uh, followers of the story. Uh, leave your comments at the bottom of the video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to this update in the press release, putting valuation on Charbonne Hydrogen, just north of $60 million. And good luck in your investment future.